Hey guys, what's going on? My name's Jake, you're watching me Tours. Today we're gonna to be having a look at this thing right here. This is the Pulse Jewel from Vandy Vape. This particular kit happens to be a squonker. Now this was the first squonker I'd ever, ever owned. I knew about them, heard a lot about them, but this is the first one that I, I ever decided to buy for myself. And I'm all about that flavor. And I heard that this is probably one of the best ways to get the best flavor. Let me, let me, let me show you, show you some shit why I really like this vapor. Now with all that being said, this is honestly one of the best vaping experiences I've ever had with, with anything. It's just the amount of the clouds that it produces, the flavor that it produces, everything, the battery life, it's just, it's just great. It looks cool, it feels great to hold, it's absolutely awesome. And it really was awesome for the first month, but then something started to happen. Something in my opinion that's really quite dangerous and hasn't really been spoken about enough through any media. I, I never came past this when I was searching for this, but once the issue happened and I started searching for that, it turns out that it's quite a common issue. This thing will fire on its own. Ghost firing. And it's, it's pretty scary, to be completely honest with you. If this is in your pocket and it goes off, it could be potentially disastrous. Now, I was lucky. The first time that it happened to me was on my flat. Now, you can actually see that this thing's trying to fire right now. See, it says lock, whereas if I click the firing button, that button it goes away. Now, that'll come up again when the mod tries to fire itself again. And it's some freaky shit. We do not want that happening. With anything like this, the first thing to do is contact either, if, if it's within a week or so, contact the people you've purchased the item from, get it swapped out, get it returned, or get your money back. Um, for me, I've had this thing for about a month now, give or take, and it's a little bit past the just return it to where you bought it from stage. So I contacted Vandy Vape directly via their support email address. They asked for a video to prove that this actually happens, which I did catch on video. As you can see, that's pretty fucking scary for that just to happen randomly at any time. And it actually happens quite often. They asked for the video. Uh, basically, that was proof enough for them. They asked for my details. I had to take photos. Make sure you keep the box if you haven't, if don't, don't throw away your boxes with these things, guys, because, I mean, they can fault, and that's, I keep packaging for all the shit that I buy. But this is the reason why, because it actually has one of those holographic stickers on there. They need to you see that themselves to prove that it's an actual Bandy Fake product. And that was it. They're sending me one out from uh, China, actually, so it's going to be air-shipped. Hopefully it doesn't take too long, and I can keep going with this thing. Now, I'm going to put in the comments of this video uh, whether or not the new mod is successful or not, if it has any issues. I'm hoping that they may have fixed this. Maybe it might be a known issue, maybe in certain, only in certain uh, areas. But hopefully I get a mod that actually doesn't have this thing. They're, they're not sending me a new a new RDA or anything like that. They're just gonna be sending me the just the, the mod itself. But I'm, I'm, I'm perfectly fine with that. So until, if you're looking to buy one of these, go for it if you'd like, but I'm really gonna stress it's quite dangerous at this point. Um, the best thing to do if you want to use this and you're having the same problem and you still want to keep using this might be your only one Enable the locking mode honestly because then it's not gonna it'll try and fire but it's not going to fire So you will protect your your fucking front leg by doing that shit Because um, really that is super dangerous guys these things burn up hot and this like as you've seen in that video This whole thing loop was glowing bright bright orange. So you got some potential for fire. It's super concerning So hold off on buying one maybe for a month or two until I can follow this video up with either a comment or another follow-up video and Because even after I receive the next mod It's probably gonna have to wait another month or so on top of that to see if the issue persists There's actually another user that states that apparently you can tighten up these screws here and it stops the issue from happening. Apparently there's some fluid that leaks into there, maybe causing the firing button to stick, but either way, it's really not safe. I could not recommend this, this vaporizer at this time. If it wasn't for that, this is honestly the best vape I've ever used in my life, but that shit is dangerous. So guys, be careful. Uh, if you have any questions, throw them in the uh, comment section below. I'll try my best to answer them. Otherwise, hit like, and I'll see you in the next video.